Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, my name is Bill Walker. I live at West 12 Town Walkway here in town of East Troy. Um, I'm here to ask a thank you for item 5C, your annual commitment to the Town Marine Land Trust. <clears throat> when I'm not busy uh, being a town supervisor, um, I do volunteer with the Town Marine Land Trust. Great. And another individual you all know, Jim Walker, and I are committed as um, stewards both at Divine Word Seminary and at Beulah Heights. So I did want to inform you that we will use your money well. On October 22nd, we are going to do a, a burn and a planting on the steep slope by the seminary. Um, and that's uh, about half an acre. And then we'll plant with um, indigenous. Uh, flowers and grasses. And in November, we're going to do a controlled burn up at Bula Heights. Uh, we've been working on cutting back buckthorn and establishing player burns for most of the summer. So Jim and I are um, excited to um, hear the good news about the annual <coughs> contribution. We thank you. Um, he and I are trying to increase our volunteer base. And um, naturally, with the Town Marine Land Trust trying to continue to locate sites, preserve, and uh, develop human time. Thank you for your time. Well, if you would make sure that Lisa has all the particulars about the two sites or the two events that you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, there's another great item we should put in the uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in our newsletter. And we'll get that out. Okay. Thank you. So I'll talk to you after the meeting. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Chad, do you want to? I'm not asking you to. Do you want? Do you have any comments? No, I just kind of came to listen to this on the agenda. I was just kind of no problem. Keep in a loop, so to speak, Matt. Oh, of course. John, what's up? <coughs> How are you doing tonight, Dave? Uh, I'm doing good. All right. Let's see what time it is. Oh, it's only 10 after 6. I'm going to have a good meeting. Do you need my name? Nope. All right. I'm stopped. I think we know you. All right. Thank you. All right, I'd like to touch base on a few things this evening, if I may. Um, item number nine on the agenda uh, discusses the uh, Hotel Beulah and mm -hmm. possible litigation. Um, I did a simple Google search, which wasn't too difficult, and um, it appears that the uh, Lake Beulah Management District is suing Waller County and suing the land use uh, resource out there, the CZA. Um, why are we spending thousands of dollars on legal fees and suing the county? Um, could we take a problematic approach and uh, sit down and try to figure out a way not to have all this litigation going on? Because it's just cost other people money. And I know we're not spending your money directly, but indirectly you are spending your money. You're because, spending my money. Yeah, because yeah. you're paying into the, to the yeah, right. yeah. So we all know we don't want a hotel on Lake Tula. Now, mm -hmm. Currently, we have one restaurant that serves 4,000 people in our township. It's kind of slim pickings if you want to go out to eat around here in the town. Um, there are a few choices nearby, but right in the town, we don't have much of a choice. Um, is there a possibility that we could sit down with the applicant and figure out a way to uh, uh, get the hotel off the table and come up with something that is going to benefit the public. The public's been able to use that spot there for several decades and have access come down, have a fish fry, look at the lake, you know, use it. And if a hotel goes in there, the only people that are going to use it are the people that go to Alpine Valley and the people up in Illinois that are visiting their friends on the lake. And at 300 people a day, when it's at full capacity, that's a lot of, I don't think our roads are set up for that. I don't think anything is set up for it down there. The police, the fire, EMS, all that isn't set up to handle that kind of volume. So, um, um, if you look at the agenda, it doesn't really say, it says Hotel Beulah, but you're not really describing what you're doing or how, how the public money is being spent. It just says you're, you're talking about Hotel Beulah. Why shouldn't it be in there that you're suing the county? Because this is my opinion. I haven't spoken to anybody at the county about this. Um, I don't think the county is very happy with this board. And 
you're creating a lot of static out there that I don't think they want. That's just my opinion. I haven't talked to anybody out there, but I'm just, that's what I'm saying. Um, couldn't we figure out a way to stop all the litigation and move forward with something positive so we can have a restaurant and a bar and a hall and maybe some condos in that location? Thank you. Thank you, John. Anybody uh, want to comment on that? I will in a minute. You can go first if you want to. Um, no, I was going to say there is a way of doing it, and that is the applicant can present a plan to the planning commission because no matter, but I think what you want requires a rezone. Correct. Okay, but if that's done, John, you know what happens then? If he went back and did that, the attorneys for the management district would contact the court and they'd say he wanted condos all along, we're throwing out his CZA permit. So this is a tight rope situation here. It's I'm, not that I'm simple. Gonna, uh, not like the comment by the board was not that entertaining as the agenda and there's pending litigation. So I don't see any reason to even entertain that comment. This is without a comment. Uh, on a technical level, uh, that just makes me feel better, so I'm going to keep, keep quiet. Um, thank you for your comments, John. Thank you. I just wish that... Yes, yes, ma'am. Moving on. Like your son, please. Like your son. You're at item number seven. Determine the next regular meeting. Yeah, I know where I am. Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate the help. <laughs> Appreciate the help. Well, he kind of jumped I still have this struggle with my mind, okay? and I do have a certain amount of power here to express the word or turn your finger up. You can do whatever you want. And I'm fighting with myself, but I'm going to go along with mine. Uh, it makes for, for good theater. Anyway, determine the next regular meeting. What's your pleasure, folks? Mr. I don't know that we need a meeting. That's what I was going to mention too. Uh, we, this meeting is in October and we are required to have a closed meeting. So I would take this uh, certainly handles before the necessity to have a meeting. Uh, all the items on this general on this agenda were you know really thrown way out left to discuss it. If something comes up, we can still have a meeting. Right? Yes, we no. can. Oh yeah. <coughs> we can do it all I have to do is somebody call me and then I can call a meeting. Jimmy, not hearing anything, uh, shall we just leave it open? Well, well in the past, when we've done something like this, we generally waited until because a lot of the um, the folks that travel or Windsor, some you know, down south someplace, and that sometimes can be here for like Christmas. So sometimes we've had it like right after Christmas. I mean, that, yeah. If you want to go ahead and set something up then, or if you just want to play it by ear, I, I would just assume. For various reasons, without I can speak for myself, uh, let's just leave it open. Open. And to be determined. Yep. Uh, or by the call of the chair. When no one has any objections to that, um, John, I, I I I think I know what your answer is going to be, but I can tell you that uh, this uh, closed session is going to be exactly what's on here about comments between our attorney and this board. And there will be no action taken. But if you want to stick around and wait until you see it, till I tell you that. Well, on your agenda, you say you may come out and talk about it. So you're not going to talk about it after on the open record? I, I have to come back and reconvene in open session and close the session. At this point, that's my only intention. Now, I don't know. Uh, I don't have any project what happened. If you, well, if you want to stick around, you can. I, 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 I don't speak off the top of my mind. You want to hang around for 10 minutes? Go ahead. Okay. But uh, that being uh, uh, the case, uh, I would uh, entertain a motion in the closed day. session. Dave, I have a quickie here. There's a gentleman in this room that has a solution, I think, to the purple leaf strike. And I think it'll work pretty well. Yeah, I think you want to tell us about it. I'm not sure a purple leaf strike is, but I can only imagine it. What? What? I have hired some girls to help clear up orders on title, so I'm having a problem with that. I don't even know what the police are. It's a flower you leave in the garden. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a flower you leave. It's a flower and I leave purple. I'm pretty, I will chat with these bookkeepers, and I'm very sure that they seem to be. Yeah, they'll leave it. It's a ghost. Great, <laughs> great, 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 great
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one of those. That's right. But, uh, but we're not planning any action. This no, time. I'm, I'm just LBCIA would be the one yeah. to contact, and they would appreciate it. If you would let them know. Yeah, so I would say. Yeah. 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 And they're not. I'm just looking at the word. Are we done here, John? We're done. You're always, you're always criticizing me for letting the meetings run on, but you're always the one I, that instigates it. Well, that's a good suggestion. All right, I'll start this over again. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to go into closed session, and it requires a roll call vote. I will move to go into closed session. Second. Uh, it is second to decide Stan. Thank you. Uh, Al? Yes. John? Yes. Greg? Yes. 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 Well, we are now in closed session. I thank everyone for coming. Uh, and we've got a poker game in December. I'll be back Saturday before Thanksgiving. Well, okay. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.